after doing your rubbings, which you simply took a bunch of different things, found objects, and put them underneath, then you rubbed over them with either a pencil or a crayon. I would suggest using watercolors to paint around it. Now not everyone has watercolors, so I'm going to take some coffee and a tissue and dab my paper. There is a video I believe in the optional folder which shows you how to use other things to create watercolors. You can also color the background with markers, color around your rubbings, and add water to the markers. That will create a watercolor of your own. If you don't have whoops, if you don't have paint brushes, you can use paper towel, tissues, toilet paper, a Q tip. Q tips work pretty good. Okay, so this is going to have like a brownish background. If I want the brown darker, I'm going to let it dry for a little bit, and then I'm going to reapply another coat of brown, and I can continue doing that. We talked about value last week in the fourth and fifth grade lesson, so you can continue making it darker if by adding more color. That is the value. You can go dark to light or however you want. But that's applying those two lessons. Again, this is not something that you have to do. This is an optional assignment. This is the more advanced assignment of the rubbings. Thank you.